Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be part two of my Ostriv series. Now, last time around, I got a basic village up and running, and I was starting to set up infrastructure for um, uh, food production, so fishing, and um, then I'll be, and then farming. Now we're uh, we're in the uh, first year I believe yes so uh, this is actually about as as well as you could expect the uh, the game to be going at this point uh, you do need to get uh, food production up in the second year or your uh, your villagers will start to starve and leave anyway let's uh, let's get the clock rolling here uh, we'll go on uh, turbo speed here because we're at a point where we need to wait for some things to actually complete now, uh, 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 you know, while we're waiting, uh, you know, I've been following uh, the developer on Twitter, and uh, he's had some interesting updates over the past couple of weeks. Uh, the next updates are going to have uh, fixes to pathfinding and a few other things that should make the game a little bit uh, stabler, uh, as far as uh, you know, when you get to larger populations and so on. Uh, one of the things that he says he fixed is uh, uh, currently, at least in this version, I think, if you were to build a bridge here and then put uh, put a, a house here and a service they wanted to go to here or here, it would decide that this was closer than this, even though the bridge would make it uh, a different uh, situation. Uh, so he's apparently fixed that, and that should help pathfinding in uh, crowded areas as well. Um, right, okay, so we're going to need uh, uh, fishing boats, but we can't do anything with that until the dock or the, the boat yard is completed. Uh, and then uh, we'll be able to assign fishermen there. Uh, and then uh, over, okay, winter's just about here. Uh, winter is coming, yay, uh, as it does every year. Unless you're on Game of Thrones, in which case it comes every random number of years. Anyway, uh, well, once the farm is up and running, and I hope that will get constructed in time for um, for the spring uh, growing season, so we can get some something like wheat or potatoes or something growing uh, for 1722. Uh, if we can get that. Okay, so yeah, winter's here. It's snowing. Uh, the river's frozen. So, yeah, so we can't fish in the winter. And obviously you're not farming in the winter either. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so as you can see, we get a nice uh, snow cover here through December, uh, January, and February. And I believe in March it clears. So... Uh, basically, we've got three month seasons. Uh, right, okay. Uh, not enough nails. Um, that's carpentry smithy. Well, it's got enough. What if we uh, get another guy working in the smithy? Yeah, uh, that might be smart. Um, yeah, and then we can get uh, get more nails out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously it's going to take uh, a little while for things to get built if we don't have enough nails. Um, right. So in here... Um, okay, we've got nails... Uh, and metal parts being created, right. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that, that should, uh, should get things straightened out there. Uh, at some point, I'm going to need to uh, adjust this, uh, the budget here, uh, to uh, get this cash flow sorted out. But I'm going to need a town hall first. And I need to get the uh, production of food online before I uh, I do that. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Um, 
yeah, and then the farm needs to come online. Uh, that's queued next. Uh, and then I'll get a trading post up once I get a couple more uh, uh, houses up. Uh, the trading post is important because it allows us to trade for some uh, some additional uh, uh, food uh, supplies uh, while the um, uh, the uh, stuff is is growing. Okay, so we've got a boatyard. Let's uh, hire a worker here. Oh, we can't complete orders in the winter. Okay. Um, right. Okay, so. We'll leave that offline, and the uh, farm is now being constructed. Uh, it's going to need uh, some amount of uh, resources, obviously. Uh, once the, and and uh, hopefully that's up in time to uh, zone a couple of fields and get some crops going, because uh, that's going to be uh, really important. Having some crops going, uh, what we want. Ultimately, what I want is uh, food crops and a uh, export resource that we can uh, sell, uh, and that's ultimately uh, historically I've just uh, used uh, uh, sunflower oil, grow uh, sunflowers, build a press, turn it into oil, and sell that, which was quite lucrative. But uh, the developer updated the uh, economics in the uh, latest stuff, so it's not actually possible to cheese the system that way anymore. That's a good thing. Uh, the way I, I had it going for, in one game is I managed to have like 100,000 uh, net positive cash in the treasury as a result of uh, exporting uh, sunflower oil. Uh, but he's uh, limited, so you can't have uh, a ridiculous amount of exports pending and a ridiculous amount of imports pending all at once. It actually makes the game a little easier to, uh, to balance labor with. Uh, okay, so in here, we got plenty of charcoal in there. Uh, yeah, so uh, what, uh, what, what I want to do is uh, build up a uh, substantial supply of nails and metal parts parts here uh, uh, at some point we're gonna have to import some uh, some iron uh, we're okay for now but at some point we'll have to import some and uh, do okay that's the camp center uh, and we still have uh, iron in storage so we're good for a while but at some point we'll have to import some so we can keep making the uh, nails and stuff that we need uh, yeah, so we're still bringing uh, nails in. Okay, we've got enough nails by the look of it. Uh, and we need clay. Now, waiting 300. So, that should be that. Now, oh, well, we've got more nails coming. Uh, how many do we need? Uh, I should have prioritized the uh, farm, I think. Uh, oh well, it's uh, too late for that. We should be able to get one crop off this year, though. As long as it's planted by May, I think, you get a crop off. Uh, as long as you have the labor to uh, harvest it when it's, uh, when it's ready. Uh... Yeah. Okay, we're... Are we getting to the point where we can start actually building that... Uh, uh, how's our labor force? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so the men are all busy. Uh, you know, this gets a little easier to manage when the population of the village goes up. Uh, you end up with uh, a lot more uh, uh, resources to go around. And look at this. Spring is coming. The snow is melting. Uh, well, uh, what I think I need to do here is hire, uh, somebody in the boat yard. No, I don't have enough labor to do that. Uh, carpentry, I still need a guy there. I'll, uh, remove a guy there. Um, 
and we'll hire as many fishermen as we can. Uh, and this here, market stall, will sell, will sell any fish we catch. Okay. Uh, we've got one fisherman here. Uh, we've got a boat that's just about built. Uh, yep, there we go. We've got a fishing boat. So now we got the fishermen out there on the water. Meanwhile, the boatyard will build another boat. And the farm is going up. Uh, once the farm is up, uh, yeah, uh, we need to, we need more labor to run the village. So I uh, definitely need to build a few more houses. I'll build another row of them over here, I suspect. Uh, right, okay. Uh, hopefully that's got all the resources the farm needs. Right, okay, look at them scurrying around, uh, building uh, buildings. Uh, right, okay, so, yeah. Uh, so we've got some fish uh, coming in, so, yep, that'll be good. Uh, yeah, so I think what I'll do is once the... Uh, once the, the farm is, uh, is constructed... I'll drop the uh, labor force in the uh, forestry and uh, possibly the, no, not the smithy, maybe the carpentry so that I can get, well, women can work a farm actually, so that will help. Okay, the farm's just about done. So when that roof finishes with the next labor uh, operation there, I'm going to pause the game. There we go, pause. Now, uh, okay, so we've got we've got three boats there, so we can fire this guy. Uh, right, uh, we can fire one of these guys because we've got a whole bunch of stuff in storage here. Well, let's fire both of those guys. And uh, no, we're going to need that guy continuing. Okay. Uh, now up here, we're going to hire a manager. And we need to add fields. So I'm going to put a field here, uh, like so. And I'm going to add a second field. OK, you snapped. Yeah. And. Uh, We'll go like so. So that's two fields. Uh, and right. OK, so if we uh, let the clock run, now we can pause it. Uh, now we can schedule crops. Now, uh, we need, uh, OK, so potato. Okay, we'll do potato here, and then we'll do, uh, we'll do buckwheat, wheat, and then we'll do fallow, and then here we'll do, um, buckwheat, and then fallow, and then potato. Right. Uh, so what uh, I'm going to add a uh, third field here, uh, which is going to go here. Yep. And then this one is going to be fallow, and then potato, and then buckwheat. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And then we'll we'll turn off plowing them because we don't have any plows. We'll activate the fields. 
and um, let's look at the uh, higher options. We'll hire women primarily here. Uh, laborers will hire anybody. Okay, and then uh, we'll hire. Uh, well, what's the labor situation? Well, uh, we'll hire several women uh, over here, and uh, now we should have a farm operating. So let's uh, let's start this. Okay, we've got uh, we've got people there. And I think this is early enough in the year that uh, planting can actually work. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's planting, so that's good. And over here, we've got three fishermen operating, so that's good. Uh, and here, we're going to sell a potato and... Uh, uh, where is it? Buckwheat. Uh, yeah. So we might as well sell everything that we're producing to the uh, villagers. Uh, right. And we can go in here and uh, fire these guys for the moment, and then they can do labor. Or fishing. Yeah. Or whatever else they need to do. Yeah. Uh, because we need to get the... Uh, the farms, uh, the fields planted, right? So, yeah, there we go. The fields planted. So now we'll hire a couple more builders. Yep. Uh, because we need to get these uh, these uh, houses up. Uh, is when the houses get get up, the uh, village will uh, start operating a little bit better. Uh, when we have enough people, we can keep permanent staff at the various buildings. Um, right, so the, uh, uh, we need to have the, uh, manager here, uh, so that we can have the crop rotation. Uh, and we definitely don't want the manager to, uh, to quit in the farm. Uh, okay, so we're, uh, we've got fish coming in, so, uh, uh, we, we've got fish for sale. Uh, that will help with the variety uh, problem. Uh, and then uh, when winter comes, I can fire the fishermen and hire builders. Uh, I'm going to move this back here and unpause that. Okay, so now, uh, now we're waiting. Uh, what have we got here? Okay, yeah. Uh, so, the farm uh, is operating. At some point, we'll uh, we'll want to plow in there, but uh, yeah. Uh, ultimately, uh, this farm will have more than just the uh, farmhouse and the fields. We'll end up with a cow shed or something here, and we'll use the fallow field. Uh, you, you, you know, use a fallow field as a uh, pasture, uh, which is definitely well worth doing. Uh, so there's actually a surprising amount of depth to this game, uh, considering it's one guy in uh, Ukraine, I think it is, that's making it. Uh, it's actually uh, pretty solid. Uh, I'm playing it on Linux under Wine, and it's been pretty stable. Uh, okay, so we've got a, a house going up, but we don't have enough nails. Yeah. Uh, that will be rectified uh, shortly-ish. Shortly-ish. Yes. Yes, shortly-ish is exactly what we need. Yep. Uh, okay, so you can see we've got uh, crops growing here. Uh, that's uh, buckwheat. And that's potato. Yep. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, when those uh, come up for harvest, it'll be quite entertaining. You'll see them scurrying around harvesting stuff. Right. Can't find nail anywhere. Oh, right. Over here. Uh, well, we're building nails. So, yeah. 
Uh, over the winter, um, I'll uh, see if I can get uh, get all of that stuff uh, operating. So let's see what our resource tally looks like. Uh, we got 240 fish, and uh, uh, we've got uh, uh, what have we got here? Uh, yeah, so we've got fish, uh, so that will feed uh, feed our uh, residents for a bit. Uh, one of the things I want to avoid with this particular playthrough is growing the village too quickly, which is something I've done in the past, uh, and it seems like it's going gangbusters for a while. And then, uh, uh, as a, a result of the... Uh, of the... Uh, rapid growth, uh, you end up with uh, too much stuff going on all at once and you can't actually coordinate what's going on. I know that's a problem with these types of games anyway, like when you get to the later game, uh, you're basically micromanaging everything and there's just too much to do. Now we're up to June and uh, this here will... Uh, okay, we've got a village up now we should get a new family come to town uh, soonish, uh, and that will give us uh, two more uh, workers, uh, a female and a male, uh, which will uh, definitely help things. Uh, a new family is is settling in town so we'll see a wagon come up here uh yeah so we got a wagon coming in uh yep there it is the uh once the town's built up more the wagons will actually uh, uh stick to the uh, streets which develop naturally apparently the developers looking at adding uh, street textures uh you know paved streets and that sort of thing uh, so that'll be an interesting uh, addition to the game. Uh, right. So now, how's our workforce? Now, we still have uh, plenty of... Uh, okay, we have men looking for jobs. Uh, right. Well, let's hire w hire a guy there. We need two guys if, if uh, trees need to be chopped down, but only one guy. Uh, what's this? Yeah, I know there's not enough workers to chop trees. Uh, we got five guys fishing, so... Uh, yeah. Actually, no, How how's our... Uh, resource tally fish 400 you know what I'm going to uh, drop that down to three fishermen uh, we'll add a second guy on here and we'll add a second guy not in the carpentry in the uh, smithy yeah okay yeah we'll do that uh, we're up to July uh, so our uh, growth is uh, doing okay there. Uh, right. Well, uh, this is progressing. Yeah. Uh, I, I think we need to get the population up to about 50, possibly 60, uh, for it to, uh, for us to have enough uh, resources to uh, uh, to uh, operate the uh, operate everything uh, efficiently, uh, right? Uh, ripeness is almost full. Yeah, we're just about coming up to harvest season here. Uh, and once uh, once the harvest starts coming in, I think that'll be pretty close to the end of this uh, this part. And then uh, we'll be down to uh, down to doing uh, 
uh, well, another winter and, uh, right. Okay. So yep. Harvest is starting. Uh, so, uh, let's see. How's the, yeah, it'll use as much labor as is available. Uh, so we'll, we'll fire the, uh, the builders and that'll get us two more laborers up there. Uh, and, uh, yeah, with, uh, now I think, uh, if we have enough, uh, uh people floating around, uh, we can actually, uh, have three active fields in a, in a season and be able to harvest everything in plenty of time. Uh, one of the keys is you have to get the crops actually cut, uh, before, uh, before the snow flies after which they will continue gathering the uh, resources in the field. Uh, okay, so we've got... Uh, yeah, so we've got all the stuff uh, up there for, uh, for harvest. Yeah, so uh, it's kind of cool. You can see the, uh, the guys uh, harvesting. You'll note that uh, they pick up a bundle of, uh, of the harvested crop on their way out uh, even while the cutting is still going on that's a an optimization that the developer added a while back uh, for efficiency uh, anyway uh, we definitely have enough food to feed our people for a while here so that's good um, yeah okay so how is our uh, labor force shaping up uh, yeah, there's nobody that's out of work at the moment. Uh, yeah, so uh, ver very shortly, uh, the uh, rest of the harvest will be cut. I see the uh, gatherers are going straight for the uh, bundles of uh, crop of harvest. So, yeah, so it's all completely cut and it'll be able to... Uh, they'll be able to collect everything so uh, yep yep we're we're good uh, so what I'm gonna do is go back in here and hire the builders back uh, and yeah yeah okay so I think we're uh, we're good there Right. Yeah. So the harvest is definitely going to be uh, going to be done. Uh, yeah. So I think I think we're good here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're definitely good. Uh, so we're, we've got the uh, crops off and uh, harvested uh, all the way up to. Uh, Uh, you know, before the end of September. So, yeah. Uh, so that means we'll have uh, we'll have uh, a buckwheat and uh, potatoes for the uh, villagers. So that should help with their demands for uh, variety. And we're going to have another house finish here shortly, uh, which means we'll get uh, more uh, more villagers in. Uh, yeah, so we've uh, finished a house there and another villager will arrive. Uh, and I'll leave the fishing boats operating until the snow flies. Right. Uh, so uh, that's going to be all for this time. Uh, we basically just run through uh, a year game time. But we've got a farm operating, uh, we've got fishermen operating, uh, and we've got a couple of uh, um, uh, we've got an extra villager has arrived, you know, a new family has arrived, and we got room for one more. And we got one more uh, house queued up, and then the uh, trading post. And those should finish over the winter. Uh, at which because I'll fire the fishermen and hire at least a couple more builders and that should get it done assuming I remember when I film the next part 
Anyway, uh, that's all for this time. Uh, I expect the uh, next part of, uh, of this will go up in about a week. So uh, that's all for now. See you next time.